Hello what's up peeps, this is the Geek God is back again with another video and what you're watching now are images generated by AI. That's right, hyper-realistic scenes generated completely by artificial intelligence based on some basic prompts or inputs given by me. We're talking about a point before AI art blew up. These are images generated using a tool created by NVIDIA called Gauguin and this is Gauguin version 2.0 which is a huge improvement over its predecessor version 1 in terms of machine learning capabilities. Computers have come a long way and things get way scarier. We will talk about them in my future videos but for now let's start from the basics. Let's start from Gauguin which has been generating magnificent images since before AI art became cool as seen facilitated by tools like Midjourney, DALI, Disco Diffusion and more which are way more advanced. They're all over the internet these days and they are very very scary because of what they can do but AI art is the future and it's here to stay so there's no point being scared of it rather we should embrace it so join me on this new series where we dive deep into the new spectacular world of AI art where we will explore the various tools and try to harness the sheer power of machine learning to generate magnificent images and productively use them to our advantage for visualizing amazing scenes and creating beautiful artworks with their help. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do it now. Click on the bell icon to get notifications about my future uploads. Hit the like button, share, comment as your support and engagement means a lot for the growth of this channel. Alright, so let's create some magic. I'll go to Google and type Gauguin and from the top of the search results we get Gauguin.org. Let's open that and there you go. That's how simple it is. All online, one simple page, no app or complicated software and it's free for all. No signups needed either and there's an offline app too which I haven't tried yet but let's keep things simple here for the first video. So it's a very simple UI. A bunch of stuff's going on there but we'll keep it even simpler and stick to just a couple of tools. On the top middle you get the brush size slider that might come handy but mainly we'll use the first four tools from the toolbar below on the left. New canvas, undo, paint brush and paint bucket fill tool. That's all. On the left we have four categories of natural elements with a list of elements coming under each of them and each of the elements are corresponded by unique color codes. That's how we will communicate with the AI and provide our inputs or prompts to get the desired results. So first we have buildings with a list of man-made structures and then ground with a bunch of ground formations like dirt, gravel, sand, mud, etc. Then there's landscape with the most commonly used natural elements like sky, clouds, hills, mountains, water, river, rocks, etc. And finally, plants with trees, grass, bush, etc. And then the big blue square box is our canvas where we'll be painting the elemental color codes while the blank white space on the right side is the output display area above which there are some lighting and mood options which we will explore in some time. So let's get started. Alright, so it's time to paint something. So let's draw a scene that has mountains in it. So from landscape, I'll click on mountain and then I'll just paint a giant mountain along the horizon. Ooh. And now it's time for the ground. So I'll go to ground and I'll pick the sand option and I'll choose the paint bucket fill tool to just fill the whole area with just one click instead of just brushing it. Next, it's time to add some variation to the terrain. So I'll pick dirt and I'll switch back to the paintbrush and I'll add some nice variation to the ground and let's pick mud this time and then a bit of gravel. Add some very nice variation to the terrain. Cool. And now back to landscape. Let's choose rock to add some big chunks of rocks on the foreground. Let's scatter them around a bit. So it's time to see what we get. So I'll go down and click on this checkbox and then back up top I'll press on this right arrow key. It's time to convert it and let's see what the AI has for us. And wow, look at that. Just look at that. That is from such basic prompts AI has generated such realistic output. 
cool and how about we try some variations now so let's click on the second mood and lighting option to see what we get and all right we have kind of like a very dry land a variation of it let's try the third option and boom now we have a much more desert like output cool and it just, I, I feel this keeps getting better with every try let's click on this this looks dramatic something like a dawn or dusk time scene and whoa, 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 whoa would you look at that this i can easily pass this off as some scene from mars or like some you know like alien planet also but i actually, I actually have some ideas okay so let's head over to photoshop and see what we can create out of this all right so here we are in photoshop and yeah the first thing i want to do is i want to draw some planet in the sky so I'll click on the elliptical murky tool and I'll make a huge circle selection somewhere around there and with a soft brush tool and a light yellow color I'm gonna paint some highlights on the left side because you can see there's a sun there right now I'm gonna select the dark shadow of the mountain with the magic wand tool and then I'm gonna erase the highlight of the planet from that area now I think I'm gonna draw a smaller planet or like a moon. I'm gonna make a smaller selection and just fill it with light color. And add some horizontal highlight according to the position of the sun. And finally, just to add some variation in the design, maybe a smaller planet. But it's a moon orbiting the huge planet behind it. It's gonna be mostly of the color of the sky with some very little highlight just to indicate the distance. Slight adjustment in the values until I'm happy. Okay, now it's time to add something on the planet. You know, just to give it a feel that it is a dry planet and what, what better way to show that than to have a planet rover. So I'll head over to Sketchfab, I'll look something up. Nice 3D model, I'll, yeah, I'll set the camera angle and lighting. And then I'll import the screenshot into Photoshop, crop the vehicle out, scale it down, place it somewhere right there, follow the rule of thirds, make some adjustments, adjust the values, and some slight color grading. Time to add some shadows, long, really long, long shadows. I'm highlighting overlay mode. Finally, I'll draw some fog or dust to sort of give it that depth color grading to make the dust a bit more reddish. And yeah, there we turn that into something, right? Yeah, just a bit of touch up and look, AI generated art. Huh. All right, so let's try another one. Whoa, this is a little more subtle. The sun is gone. The terrain looks rougher, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. Okay, let's try another version and we have a very rocky, very, very rocky drive kind of a terrain. And whoa, this looks really good, you know, this like it really realistic. And it's amazing how many variations you can get and they're all so realistic, mind blowing, really. This is, this is mind blowing. Okay, so let's try to add some more to this scene, okay? So let's paint some clouds now. Some random placement of the cloud and let's see what we get okay wow it really does paint in the cloud following your prompt following the shapes that you put in but i think it can be better so i'll improve uh, the shape of the cloud so let's see if it helps and yeah it does help that looks better more natural okay so i think i can add some hills now instead of the mountains starting immediately you can have some smaller hills I'll paint some hill and see what happens and okay so now there's like a gradual transition okay we have the flat plain ground then some hills or mounds and then that transitions into a large mountain looks more natural and wow okay so you see it keeps getting better I'll keep downloading some of these images the ones I really like as we go along cool cool another mood amazing this it's just let's try something with this also so whatever i added onto my previous output i'm going to apply the same onto this new image new version rather i'll scale down the planet moon a bit just 
the previous one was quite reddish this is more yellowish desaturated tone right so i'm going to color grade the dust as well make it more desaturated and yellowish so you go with the mood more and there you go and now i'm going to add some shadow in the foreground let's say like cloud shadow in the foreground to pull all the tension towards the mid ground and then in overlay blending mode i'm going to paint some extra highlight in the mid ground and on the base of the mountain and hill create a nice cinematic feel very easy just a couple of minutes fix and yeah there we go dope that is dope okay now i'm going to try to apply the last two things i did in terms of the shadow and highlight onto the previous shot and see what happens and yeah that's how it looks better i guess all right time to add some more so so far the terrain looks a bit monotonous a lot of uh dryness a lot of rocks and sand dirt mountain hills but mm, it it looks very lifeless right so it's time to add something interesting water let's right? add some water all right a bit of a bit there a bit here let's instead of making it uh, just a linear stream of water let's vary it up a bit there's something that looks really natural random and organic and let's see what we get and whoa, whoa look at that that is beautiful and it's just it's it, the computer the, or the ai rather is it's, it's not just placing water randomly on the ground wherever you've marked it out it's it's calculating the relationship between the different elements the way the elements interact with each each other is so beautiful i mean the mud i mean the water first uh, you have the water banks or if you, you can call this river there's the bank there's a bit of mud and then you have the gravels and then the sand you can see the wetness of the ground wetness of the sand near the water and that is just beautiful the way these things and wow this is even better i mean it just keeps getting better with every try it keeps getting better i'll just keep saving these okay this is like another sort of version more rocks more dry rocks along the river this is the dusk time version very cinematic or should i say very dramatic right so now i think we can add some fog let's let's separate the hills from the mountains i'll paint some fog just a little bit of fog between the hills and the large mountain behind and let's see and whoa okay so there's some depth we have some value difference there some bit of depth let's increase the amount of fog there and see what happens okay let's try another moon wow all right so this is a, like a complete change in the moon okay this is like i don't know this is like a very volcanic planet that has very like unstable geothermal thing going on absolutely amazing and then okay this is like a very arctic scene it's probably like one of the moons of jupiter that's completely covered in ice completely frozen kind of thing going on dry and arctic and cold and wow now this really paid off the adding the fog there it really paid off in this one it's, it's exactly what i wanted it to look like and yeah i like the degree of control you get here like it's good for starters i mean i know in the future videos things are gonna get way scary and way more intense but even for starting stage this is quite cool so I'm going to use this image. I like the depth, so I'll bring it into Photoshop and I'll apply the same things that I did to the previous images. I'll try to apply those here and see how it looks. So the planet, the large planet, the small moon, and I'll color grade the dust, desaturate it a bit more to go better with the environment, the shadow, and the highlight. Erase it a bit from the top. And yes, that's how it looks. Crazy, right? Yep. Next, maybe I'll try to add something floating in the sky. So I'll look for an space station kind of a model in sketchfab i'll bring the screenshot over into photoshop i set it to screen blending mode so that only the highlight is visible and the shadows are completely faded and blended with the sky i'll adjust the levels and i'll erase the flame okay uh I, I guess i'm not liking that too much anyway let's scratch that and back to gauguin let's see let's try more variations now oh how i mean look at that that is just glorious so once again i tried something similar with that and this is how it looks beautiful right beautiful i'm loving the potential of this thing uh oh yeah and and the amazing thing is that it is free and i guess you, you get unlimited tries you can just try and generate as many images as you want you don't have to pay for it not now at least right so all right so let's let's change up the shape of the mountain just a bit okay just a little bit and add a bit more fog there to show maybe there's a lot another mountain large mountain behind far back and let's add some rocks let's vary the shape of the this break the shape of the water body and add some rocks here and there or rather stones let's make them stones right 
right let's see what we get hmm wow so stones uh so that's how rocks are different from stones i mean if you use rocks you mostly get like small pebbles very small scattered pieces of pebbles but stones can give you the large boulders so i guess i was looking for stones all along large boulders here and there okay so this is cool but the lighting doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it feels like there's a sun exactly over on top of the river somewhere up there but there's no sun the sun is kind of over on the left side, the right side on the right side. wow this is beautiful and this is so natural so realistic this stuff is crazy and oh wow i mean would you look at this you know what i have a really crazy idea for this and i'm gonna photo bash the hell out of this one and i'm gonna make a completely separate video in detail just on this so that's gonna be my next video watch out for that okay so now let's turn the water body into a river brush some river on top of the water and see what we get all right so it kind of replaced the still water with some flowing water hmm. we have some flowing water now the sun reflection doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this which really looks good all right now let's replace the ground mostly with sea and let's see what happens yeah turn that all into sea let's see how sea water looks in this scene let's add a bit of foreground there some gravel is varied up with some mud and a bit of water and some rock just to break the design shape see what we get okay weird but still good yeah yeah the sun is, is all bonkers mm, okay again one kind of arctic sort of scene you see more variations okay more dry icy and this looks cool it's like a beach and well ai is really going crazy now we have some more seashore kind of scenes waves crashing into rocks awesome let's try a new scene so click on the new scene and let's add some grass okay let's play with the grass or the plant options we haven't tried that so let's add some hill along the horizon maybe a mountain behind some stones in the mid ground and foreground some bushes let's see what we get wow that is really realistic okay the way all the elements interact with each other in all of these versions are beautiful the, the way the lighting changes it's magnificent this is so advanced in terms of how natural it can make things look all of the versions are crazy okay let's add some water now some trees and some fog between the hill and the mountain finally a bit of cloud in the sky let's see what we get all right gorgeous really good stuff whoa ho 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 okay all right this looks great so let, we, we can see how the trees look some added vegetation not bad not bad at all yeah it just looks post-apocalyptic okay this looks cool i'm just saving all of them because they're all they all look so good mm, no let's try some different something like um let's add some human like man-made structures up there so some stone walls maybe and some large house-like structure to create some maybe towers and see oh wow okay that looks good but some sort of glitching right there around the hill so i guess it's not interacting quite well there yeah. let's try to make the entire thing made of stone wall and see oof oh well <laughs> not really working out there let's add some bridge and all right it's something it's something not perfect but it's something okay not bad it's something it don't really reduce the height and now it's just so for some weird reason it's very monochromatic or black and white and lastly let's try just one last scene new scene so we're adding some crazy sci-fi like mountain shapes some hills and more crazy sci-fi like mountain shapes behind some fog and let's see okay uh-huh not bad not the best but not bad some more variations a lot of gravel maybe i can add some water there in the ground some rocks and some clouds Okay, so now the shape of the mountain is sort of blending with the cloud in a weird way. I'll reduce the amount of cloud. Mm -hmm. We're getting somewhere, it's like a weird blend of snow, clouds and mountains. So yeah, I think that's it for the video. So just to get a quick recap of the results we got from the start to finish. So you can see a quick slideshow of all the results that I liked and I saved. So yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy in terms of what you can do. And, and this is not the end because uh, the, the scopes are limitless. I mean, you can re-visualize this, you can paint over on top of these. I'm gonna make separate videos on those.
okay? Like really harnessing the power of the output that we got and just turning them into something crazy and original. It's the possibilities are endless and we truly are living in the future and it's here to stay. So let's all embrace it and to infinity and beyond. Isn't that where we're going with this? <laughs> all right, so that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell icon and stay tuned for the future videos on AI art. So that's all for now. See you on the next one. Peace.